Hi all, this is Tomo. Today's topic is camera tracking. This is the system that I'm proposing today. There's supposed to be a camera here, but I'm using my camera to shoot um, this video, so I'm going to explain it without a camera. What I'm doing here is attaching my cell phone to the camera to track its movement. It doesn't have to be a DSLR camera, it can be any video cameras, but I'm guessing whoever wants to use this system will be someone who's working on a low budget film with a small camera like this. Okay, let's do it. Um, I'll turn it on. And I'll reset the position. Okay, it's good. Okay, so as you can see here, so whatever the movement you make with the camera, the motion data is transferred to Rhino in real time. And if you press this button here, like this, you can start recording the movement. So whatever the move you make, you can recreate it in your 3D environment in the post-production. This data is very generic and can be used and tweaked by any post-production software such as Blender, Maya, or whatever. You can also load it back to Rhino and render a sequence in either rough or final render quality and comp it to the scene. As an example, I made one Rhino script to load the data and render the sequence with Octane Render. In order to make a perfect match between real and virtual camera, you should adjust and record the focal distance here. You can do the same with the computer screen here. You can record the focal length and the aperture here. You have to measure the camera position relative to the mobile phone to get the perfect result. Rhino can produce a video of what the main camera is seeing in the virtual environment and we can output this video to a different monitor and mix it with the actual footage for the quick preview on set. VFX is still an awfully expensive and time-consuming tool for a lot of filmmakers. There are, many, there are many occasions where the director has to make decisions to use either a fixed shot with VFX or a moving shot without any VFX. Imagine if you can provide a solution with not much additional cost with only the help of your phone. As you can see, this isn't good enough for a final product, but if you can do as much as this level during the production and provide the right kind of material to the post-production team, if you, it will help them speed up their job. Now please understand, I'm a production designer and I don't think we should make everything digitally. I think we should make as many things as possible physically. But for the art department to understand the logic of the motion control and being able to do most of it by ourselves, we can design both physical part of the scene and the virtual part seamlessly. And we can lead a conversation about which part of the design should be real and which part should be CGI. In fact, Rhino is not the best software to do this. If you are a VFX person and already familiar with other 3D CG software, you'll find even better solutions there. This workflow does not replace the VFX team. There still needs to be a little tweaks and adjustments in the post-production phase. But Rhino is the software used by a lot of designers. I just wanted to propose a solution that many designers can provide today in the design phase of the production without needing to learn new software. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.